Good morning, one and all. Today's topic of discussion is cyclic neutropenia, which is an important topic as seen in your university exam. It came as a five marker and usually comes as a short note. So to start with, cyclic neutropenia is also known as periodic neutropenia, cyclic agranulocytic angina, periodic agranulocytosis, and many other names. So let's come to the name cyclic neutropenia. Neutropenia is a decrease in the count of the neutrophil less than the normal, which is there for the individual's age and sex. Cyclic means which comes in bouts or which comes in cycles. The cycle can vary from 3 weeks to 8 weeks and even longer for few individuals. So it is a very unusual form of agranulocytosis where there is decrease in the count of neutrophils in a cyclic manner. This, the etiology of this is unknown but it is thought to be hereditary in nature. So now, as we all know that the neutrophils are the WBCs that is the defense cells of the body and when their count goes down, then the microorganisms like viruses, bacteria, fungi and protozoans can have an opportunistic infection over the body. The infections include skin diseases, cutaneous infections, etc. Coming to the clinical features of such a disease, it may occur at any age and majority of the cases are seen to happen in young children and infants. Symptoms are similar to that of agranulocytosis but they are all milder than agranulocytosis. The patient can have fever, malaise, sore throat, stomatitis and because of which there can be regional lymphadenopathy and headache, arthritis, joint pain, cutaneous infections, mucosal infections, urethral infection, conjunctivitis, etc. Now coming to the oral manifestations per se, patients with this disease, they are basically, uh, they exhibit severe gingivitis and sometimes in the form of stomatitis, which includes erythema over the surface of the oral mucosa and there are sometimes few solitary ulcerations seen on the surface. Apart from that, there can be sore throat, sore tongue, sore mouth and ulcerations on the lateral surface of the tongue. This happens when the neutrophil count is comes down to as low as 500 cells per cubic mm as compared to the normal count of 7500 cells per cubic mm. When the neutrophil count comes to normal, all these uh, manifestations subside and the patient will have normal oral mucosa. Now these are the pictures which show that there is erythema of the oral cavity, then there is ulceration of the upper lip and also a healing ulcer over the later surface of the tongue. Coming to the radiographic features, as there is good amount of gingivitis in these patients, gingivitis that too of chronic generalized gingivitis, it can uh, lead to periodontitis. When periodontitis prevails, there is good amount of bone loss alveolar bone loss that is interdental and interreticular in nature. Now when you see periodontitis in a prepubertal stage, you always look for some serious systemic disease. So in these pictures we can see that the bone loss is quite evident and the interreticular bone loss is also there. Clinically these teeth should be, will be or must be mobile in nature. Now coming to the lab findings. See, to come to a diagnosis of neutropenia or cyclic neutropenia, we have to take patient's blood for at least two to three times a week for eight weeks. And to come to a conclusion of cyclic neutropenia, one should have a decreased neutrophil count for three consecutive readings and the count should be at least 500 or less than that, 500 cells per cubic mm. So this is a picture, the first picture shows that there is normal neutrophil count in a normal healthy individual whereas the second picture shows that there is considerable and drastic decrease in the number of neutrophils and the other things which you can see are the numerous uh, RBCs which are normal by concave and enucleated. Uh, the diagnosis is made on the basis of the reports which have come from the lab which suggests that there are three consecutive reports showing neutrophil count of less than or equal to 500 per cubic mm. Treatment is not, uh, is not specific because treatment whatever we do is symptomatic in nature. Usually when the neutrophil count comes to normal, 
the lesions subside on their own but sometimes you need to if the patient has severe um, manifestations and he is willing to take treatment then splenectomy has been proven to be beneficial death is very very rare in very very rare cases death can happen but occasionally uh, the death usually occurs because of recurrent infections due to decreased neutrophil count also patient may suffer from periodic disease for years and they start to live with the disease since this since not much is known about the pattern of uh, genetics of this disease hence whatever treatment we know or we do is totally symptomatic so this finishes our today's topic of cyclic neutropenia we'll meet with another wbc disorder in the next class thank you